Hi Leo, welcome to a new reading. Leo, what you should know right now. Whenever you come across this video, what is it that you should know, Leo? Leo, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take only what fits to you, into your life, what resonates with you. Um, don't force anything, don't try to, you know, to take what is not yours, ignore what doesn't um, fit to your life, your situation. Let's see, Leo, what is the main energy here? Let's see. What is the main energy for you, Leo, in this right moment, whenever you see this reading? A change, wow. So, um, a change. You are going through, there is a, um, I will tell you something now, Leo. I took uh, um, the advice a deck that I was keeping from the uh, for the final, uh, but it's all right. I will tell you, it's important. Looks like it's important. Look at this bat butterfly. There is a transformation. There is a process that needs to start in your life. All right. Um, you need to embrace the change. There is something that you need to change in your life. Change is coming, and um, you know. Um, cannot be avoid, avoided, you, you, you may feel like you want to avoid, you want to keep things into place, but it will not happen, all right? Because it looks like there is a necessary change for you, my dear Leo. It's, um, it's time for a change. So even though you don't like, you do your best to go against it, it will not uh, happen, all right? But looks like this wanted to come out for the ones of you who are going against change, who you think maybe you don't acknowledge or you don't want to, to admit that something is off in your life. Looks like spirit is telling you to, to get ready for change, all right? But because we start so interesting, let's see what's going on here. You are afraid. Look at this, Leo. What you are afraid of? What is it? Some of you, you are feeling afraid. Some of you, you are feeling like everything happens to you, right? Not for you, to you. Like everything goes wrong. Everything goes against you. You feel like a victim in your own life. You feel, some of you, you lost something. And since that moment, you kind of find hard to decide what to do. You kind of find hard to focus on things in your life. So putting all this together, Leo, looks like that this is the change that Spirit was talking about. Uh, like you need to stop being afraid. You need to stop thinking like a victim. You are not a victim. Things are not happening to you. Everything happens for a reason. You know, I always like to say that. Everything happens for a reason. So whatever you thought was your thing, your relationship, your business, your stuff, and now you don't have it, maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe it was meant to be until that point. Now it's a time of change. All right? Let's see, Leo. What you should know, Leo. Three cards for you, which we are going to clarify, of course. But let's see what we are dealing with here, Leo. Oh, we have the lion card, all right. And the casket and the kangaroo, sorry. So, look at this, Leo. How beautiful everything comes together for you because definitely you need some sort of clarification in your life. You need guidance. That's why you are here. The kangaroo card is telling you that you need a plan. You may say you have one, but there are some things that you didn't, did not establish yet in your plan if you have one. If you don't have, it's time for a plan. It's time for a plan in order to act. This lion card is telling you time to act, Leo. And the casket is coming with the message of in order something new 
to begin. Something needs to be ended. Every ending means a new beginning, right? So something has to come to an end in your life. Either you need to let go of a person, of a situation, of an idea, some feelings towards someone or something. Something needs to be released in order to make space in your life, Leo, for the future, for what's new, for the new chapter. So, let's clarify each card for you, Leo. So, we have this kangaroo here, which is telling you that hmm, things are all over the place right now. You may feel overwhelmed and that's happening because you don't have a clear plan. You don't know exactly what is going to happen, what to do next. So you need to get clear, to work on your plan. You need to work on your plan. You need to also talk with the right people. Some people in your life are meant to distract you. Some people are there to support you. You may have the tendency to look into those advices that kind of put you in the wrong place with the wrong situation. So focus, focus and keep close the people that wants to lift you up, to see you progressing, to see you moving on, to see you evolving. I don't know. I feel to tell you this and I will tell you this. Leo, once you get clear on your plan, you will have the, the, that courage, that gut to go through. Do you see this ring of fire? You go through it without problems. You will be able to take action. And this card is going through towards this line card, which was telling you it's time to act. So again, you have this King of Swords, which is coming with the clear message that definitely right now you need to work towards your plans. Work, work, put, um, put on paper, think on paper, make a plan, have a vision for your future, analyze your situation, see what's holding you back, how you can make things happen, find solutions. Think in solutions, Leo. Not like a victim. Everything happens to me. I will lose. I cannot do that. I, this will happen the same. This will bring me the same situation all over again. So don't take the worst case scenario. Just start making plans not based on what happened into your past. Based on what you want to achieve. Visualize the steps to get there. Alright? And start step by step. Slowly, slowly. Okay, it's very important to be realistic about your situation also. Let's see with this lion card. What is here? So, looks like you are juggling. You are in between two situations. Um, two persons, two two or more things, right? You are multitasking right now. So, is nothing wrong with that, but there is um, some decisions that needs to be made because you are able to, to, to deal with all of these things, but for how long? For me, this uh, card is always like, all right, you can do this, you can do this, but for how long you can keep your balance? You may get tired. So it's time for, um, um, you see, for um, making smart choices. It's time for protecting yourself and knowing that, yes, you are so capable of doing so many things, but do it, do, do it in a smart way. Take care of yourself. Know that it will come the time when you will get tired if you are dealing with so much. So take care of yourself, protect, uh, protect yourself, okay? If you want to be for a long run here. Um, also, taking care of yourself, having a, a clear plan, knowing exactly, knowing exactly where you wanna be 
and visualizing those steps will bring you this stability, will bring you to this point where uh, things will stabilize, there is going to be harmony, there is going to be peace of mind, you will not feel like a victim anymore, you will kind of, you know, settle, because some of you here, you feel like you are in the, in the air, right? So, looks like there is something that needs to go out of your life in order to, you know, to level up, in order to move forward. What is this talking about? Let's see. So, you are not listening to yourself. You are not listening to that inner voice when it comes to decisions, when it comes to let go of certain things, people, situations. You may have this tendency of listening to others or looking for advice. There's nothing wrong with it, Leo, but sometimes people, not that they want to hurt you, no, I'm not saying that, but they are saying their opinions and you are someone who kind of, um, you know, you let yourself, not manipulated, but too much influenced. People are not going to live your life. So when it comes to decisions, when it comes to choices, make these choices, these decisions based on your own conclusions, on your own analysis. Because what others are saying are saying because they, they, they make these opinions, right? They go through their own filter. So in the end, they are not going to live your life. You are. So trust yourself, trust your intuition because you know, you know what you need to do. You need, you, you already know what is not good in your life. It's just what, you, what it's missing, that, uh, um, that courage, that gut to cut off anything, anyone, any kind of thought, feeling that doesn't belong to you, that doesn't serve you anymore right? That doesn't belong anymore in your life. Because who you were one month ago, you are not today, right? So sometimes we need in life to adjust, to adapt to the new. To, you need to adapt. You cannot act like how you were acting one year ago or five years ago or last week, right? Things got changed. So you need to find, to, to listen to yourself and to find that courage to, to let go whatever doesn't fit in your life anymore. Whatever is blocking you from moving forward, from getting where you belong, for, from getting what you deserve. For some of you, you will... Um, the way you are acting right now is keeping you from something beautiful, for that happiness. If we talk about love, for some of you, because the Two of Cups is here, Two of Cups shows that a great partnership or that soulmate, the one that you're supposed to be with. You are meant, not supposed, you are meant to be with. So, looks like Something is holding you back from this true love, from this person that you are meant to be with. If we talk about love, if we talk, if in your love life everything is good, then this is a work situation where you are holding on into the wrong things or you are listening to the wrong people and you don't listen to yourself and you just make bad choices and you are you are keeping yourself away from this person with who you could make great things. You could build an amazing business. You could work perfectly. But uh, you see, um, because of not listening to yourself, not trusting that you can make the right decisions here, you are away from this happiness. You are the biggest obstacle. So, my dear Leo, what you should know, one more card for you. It 
is the happiness card. So this happiness card is telling you immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. So look for your happiness, Leo. It's close to you. You just have to open your eyes and have the gut to go for it. Leo, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful and you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. I wish you all the best and see you soon with a new reading. Bye, Leo.